Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, that was a good intro. Uh, if you had heard my set this before I started the video, this is a new motor. Pick up video. I know I said one and I wouldn't do another one, it's not on set, but I have stories with each one, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Um, so let's get right into it. Not right into the pickup, I'm just going to talk about it here for a second. Just to kind of, here's something to say if you got this down, like, you know, they come pick up. ABC cam here. Nah, I don't like it. <laughs> this is not really a great camera, sadly. The batteries just die too quickly on it. I'm having to, like, it, it'll just sit idle and die. Um, like I said, I got a 512 megabyte uh, SD card for that camera, which works well. It's just an SD card, it's really nothing more good. This one even doesn't even go back in the car, but Amazon Basics mouse in it. In the subtitles, will not capitalize this because the subtitles are really the front I like how they, the subtitles are amazing. I don't know. Oh, uh, we're up on it. Oh, I'll go later. Yeah, and I also have this mouse. I have here. I have a mouse set up here. IBM Ball. I'd like to find a later, like a late 90s, early 2000 beige uh, HP mouse, an optical mouse that has a scroll wheel. I'd like to find one. Of those. I have an HP mouse here that's a bit later, like 2004, 2005. Yep. Um, yeah. I saw some weird speakers at Google uh, yesterday. They were both audio speakers. They were tiny little things. And they were beige. Uh, just had an audio jack. Put it in your computer. Nothing else. No power supply. No no volume adjustment. Nothing. I have no clue. Of course, I still have the Amazon Basics. Uh, I still have the I still have the uh, the keyboard. The Amazon Basics keyboard. But I this is the And I have this keyboard too. Acer Maxwell keyboard. But the I mean, that's Arizona, that's Arizona kiss yellow there, that's just completely decayed, especially if you bought them, like, it looks like someone, like, look, it looks like just sloth, it's terrible, and this thing broke off, too. a lot, so try playing CS, uh, Source or whatever, and you get freaking scanned even. Every time you try to move around, you walk in circles and you get shot by some idiot using an auto sniper the whole match in the back of the CT spawn and dust. There was a guy that did that, and he was, we were trash talking when he had Texas Rangers. Okay. It's a shame, dude, because this dub part here, Mechanical. I'd say this is late XP era, but yeah, XP. They had there are two of them. Yeah, it's pretty nice to feel. It was really dirty when I got it, but this is a compact cool keyboard. Here. And there's nothing, there's no like no wrist straps, no media keys, none of that crap. Just very it's just the keys, that's it. But it does still have a four side uh, number pad over here. Yeah. I mean I can plug it in right now. I don't want to. I don't want to mess up the music because it will like get away with that. But yeah. So yeah. Pretty cool. And the, the sad thing is they had a really nice Dell keyboard there too. Same type of mechanical keys, but it had like a it was it had a big bone area on the top of the media and everything. It was very very nice keyboard. I, I was the exact kind of keyboard I've been looking for for a while. But it was wireless and they didn't have the Dell keyboard, so it's like ah. Oh, it was four bucks, they were all these keyboards of four bucks. They had another Logitech one that was really not that great looking, you know, also same thing, wireless and all. Pick up, best pickup of October so far, totally, totally. You can 
can't tell, but it is probably. You know, you get the it's still, it's still a lot of Microsoft. I'd probably take this. Uh, it doesn't have a copyright either, you know, nothing like that. At all. I would date it though, uh, either 19, uh, either Windows 95 or like Windows 90, 1996, 97, or I'd date it uh, 2000 era. But I mean, it's a year brand new. No discoloration whatsoever, no sun fade. White. It is a white keyboard. I have not seen an actual brand new white keyboard like this. It wasn't sealed forever. There was some dust on it, but I'm assuming that the dust was actually from it sitting at the Goodwill, so not from that. But those are these things on the bottom are intact. Cool thing about these ones is there's multiple tiers. I mean, it's still really good. Brand new. I mean, this is it is new. I mean, I'm thinking that you took it out of the packaging, maybe, maybe plugged it in once, because there's not even any wear on that. I uh, unplugged it when the computer died or something, or just like something happened, and you just put it away. You must have packed it up really good, because there's no fade at all, there's no wear, nothing. Steel. Four bucks. I don't even know how much these go for, but yeah. It's an excellent thing. There's some minor, minor wear on the bottom, which actually might... Believe, it might actually makes me believe a little bit more just because the way this this was stored in a box for most of its life with other stuff. So, yeah. And there you go. Very cool. Very, very awesome pickup. I plan to probably, I'm going to end up um, replacing this compact with this one. I'd like to find one of these that's in, like actually black. I think they did make those uh, later on during the early XP days. But I'd like to find one. Um, as for the Dell, I plan to use it with, uh, and it's, it's nice to have a Dell component, again, considering the latitude. But I might actually use this with the latitude, uh, even though I don't, I don't really use it in a desktop environment anymore. Uh, so it really doesn't matter, but, I mean, it's a nice keyboard, it really is. It is dirty, but the keys still do feel really good because they're mechanic. They don't stick as easily. And I, of course, I can just pop them off easily. Like, I could not get the ones on this off. Uh, so, I'm glad to find one of these. Uh, but I think I would want, like, just like this compact, one of the things on the back is missing, but it doesn't really matter. But what I'm planning to do with this one uh, is just having it as a backup. Uh, and what I plan to do with it mainly, though, is to uh, play Half-Life for the PlayStation 2. Uh, that's all I plan to do with this thing, is use it to play Half-Life on PS2, which I'm actually going to do, like, right after this video, so... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do with it, so... Pretty cool. And it's, it's smaller, too, so it'll work better for it, and, yeah, nice keyboard. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to just do typing tests and everything with them, but, you know, just nice to have, I guess. Just to see. Because, I mean, uh, our friends had a keyboard exactly like this one. Uh, back during the late 2000s, and we used to, uh, I think I had like, what, 256 mega RAM, <laughs> same as mine, and we used to go on the internet, and what, a Bakugan, <laughs> yeah, yeah, those, those were the really old days, I mean, I swear to God, I look back at some of those older videos, not even the same person, I swear, it's insane, yeah, so I hope you guys have been having a good weekend, I have so far, uh, I mean, I swear to God, I need a fucking calendar. I need to buy a calendar and hang it right there so I can see it every single day. So I know what day it is. But yeah. Half-Life uh, collecting, I'm probably going to make a new collection video. Uh, once I get that Half-Life 2 and all that stuff. I'm going to wait actually till I get the Xbox version in the case. I'll do that. Uh, which, yeah, the subtitles on the video are great. I, I know it does, it still, it did it in my other video too, called Blue Shift Bullshit. Total Bullshit. Total Bullshit. And catch, and then right after this, it says, catch the head out of my just mumbling. Catch the head. Catch the head. Okay. Let's turn it off. Um, 
to. I think that's about the end of this video. I don't want to make it too long, so I'm going to end it now. Just comment what you guys think. Comment if you do play Half-Life 2 with the uh, keyboard or whatever and mouse. Uh, what you do, what you use, um, and just for anyone, just for clarification, you cannot use a USB or a PS2 to USB adapter on a PS2. It will not work. Unless you get like some really complicated stuff. A basic one, like a, what I have for my uh, compact or whatever, will not work on it. So, and anyone? This is a good question. Will this HP Pavilion, I'm going to look into BIOS settings. Is there a way so I can make it so that it'll boot into Windows without me requiring a PS2 keyboard to be plugged in? Uh, because I'd like to be able to do that because I don't have to have, in case I were to use one of the USB keyboards with it, I'd rather not have to have this one or another one that's PS2 plugged in and put, like, hidden somewhere. That'd just be annoying, frankly, and I'd be afraid of it getting damaged or just, it just gets in the way of stuff with the way my setup is right now, so. Yeah. Uh, and that's the end of this video. Uh, so, I mean, how much you guys think I'm... Um, I have a new video coming tomorrow actually talking about and showing, or maybe even today because I'm going to mess with it now, I'll just upload it today probably, of me playing uh, Half-Life 2 with the PS2, or the, yeah, the keyboard or whatever, keyboard mouse, whatever, that's fine, very good port, I'm going to talk more about that in that video there, excellent port, just wonderful, and the only problem I have with it is that it's on CD and not DVD, uh, just because the way that is with the PS2, but, yep, so, I'm going to end this video now, so. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment what you think. If you will comment, uh, and I'll catch you guys later. So.